Commander Shepard's here. Better, better look busy. Oh, look busy. Oh, yeah, so much work to do. Lots of work. Oh, yeah, boy, work, 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 work. There you go. It's the CIC, Combat Information Center. Looks well, pretty much the same to me. Eh, pretty good. Welcome home. Welcome aboard the new Normandy, Commander. Hooray! I've been looking over the dossiers. I'd strongly recommend starting by acquiring Morden Solus, the Solarian professor on Omega. We know the Collectors use some type of advanced technology to immobilize their victims. We'll need him to develop a countermeasure to protect us. Mmm. That's a good point! Without that countermeasure, we'll be helpless if we ever run into the Collectors. Acquiring Professor Solus seems like the most logical place to start. The fuck? I am the Normandy's artificial intelligence. The crew like to refer to me as Edie. Ooh, Joker won't like this. <laughs> Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Helmsmen aren't happy when someone takes control of a ship away from them, especially Joker. I do not helm the ship. Mr. Moreau's talents will not go to waste. During combat, I operate the electronic warfare and cyber warfare suites. Beyond that, I cannot interface with the ship's systems. I observe and offer analysis and advice. Nothing more. Hmm. Is there anyone else I should meet? I'm guessing it takes more than just the three of us plus Joker to fly this ship. The Normandy has a full crew. They're at their stations awaiting your orders. Final preparations for takeoff are complete, Commander. When you're ready to go, just pick a destination from the galaxy map and the CIC and I'll plot a course. <laughs> Jacob and I should return to our <laughs> posts. Come find us if you have any questions. I won't. Oh, maybe I'll go talk to Jacob, though. He seems pretty cool. Yeah, Jacob's not bad. And here's telling you there's a galaxy map. You can use that to fly to a destination. So exactly like the last game. Ah, uh, yep. Captain's quarters. You can go up to your personal cabin. Oh, boy. Change your appearance. Feed your fish if you get some fish. You can get fish? You can get fish. Really? Yeah. Are you serious? You can get your own aquarium. Oh, my God. That's cool. Uh, and you have a tech lab, but you can't do anything until you acquire more than souls. I am more excited about the fish than anything else. Can you believe this, Commander? It's my baby. Better than new. It fits me like a glove. And leather seats. Military may set the hardware standard, but on a first-gen frigate, they could care less if the seats breathe. Civilian sector comfort by design. The reproduction is not intended to be perfect, Mr. Moreau. Seamless improvements were made. And there's the downside. I liked the Normandy when she was beautiful and quiet. Now she's got this thing I don't want to talk about. It's like ship cancer. <laughs> ship cancer. <laughs> Uh, this is too good to be true. I don't trust them. We still need to move ahead, but it's all too convenient. Maybe you're right. I guess it's hard to argue when they install an AI to spy on us. We're staying though, right? I mean, the seat is real leather. Yeah, see you're keeping it all in perspective. You can keep the seat. <laughs> uh, leather. <laughs> it's a valid point. Let's here. Let's talk to Edie, I guess. Yes, Shepard. Tell me about you, robot. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? What is your job? What do you do aboard the ship? I operate the ship's electronic and cyber warfare suites in combat. My reaction time is much faster than any organic. I collate the records of shipboard monitoring devices for the elusive man. I serve additional functions which are restricted at this time. Mmm, tell me about those additional functions. Restricted functions? Like what? I do not know. Some of my databases are sealed. Some of my hardware is kept offline. I assume that when certain unknown conditions are met, those functions will be released to me. Mm. Tell me about the monitoring devices. There better not be a camera in my bathroom. The elusive man has monitoring devices on board? He has invested most of Cerberus' resources into the design and construction of this ship. He has an interest in monitoring our progress. Okay, that seems fair enough, I guess. He also wants to know when you're peeing, just for scientific research. That sounds horrifying. <laughs> I'm Yeoman Kelly Chambers. I've been assigned as your administrative assistant. Oh, she's kind of cute. I'll messages and help you monitor the crew. And I must say, it's such an honor to work under you, Commander Shepard. Can I romance her? You can if you don't romance anybody else. She's like a... If you have like a no backup, <laughs> if you have nobody romanced, it's possible to romance. Actually, no. I think if I remember correctly, you can romance her as a side romance, like as a secondary, not real. Oh, romance. that's me. Yeah, it kind of is. But she's like a backup. Yeah, whatever. Uh, okay. Well, pleasure's all mine. I'm glad to have you on the team, Miss Chambers. Please call me Kelly. Sure. Okay, Kelly. Oh, oh she's yeah. blushing. <laughs> <laughs> that's cute. She's a cutie. Oh, uh, I, I don't know. Tell me about stuff. Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. 
What do you do? What are your responsibilities? I'll keep you notified of any messages or appointments you might have. If any of the crew has important business to discuss, I'll make sure you know. Oh, see, so I don't want to say secretary, but that's, uh, that's kind of it, yeah? Is that it? Isn't that the type of task better suited for a VI? Yes, but being your yeoman is just my official role. Unofficially, I observe the crew. Everyone knows how risky our mission is. Many of us may not be coming back. That's a lot of pressure. I have a degree in psychology. I'm good at sensing when people are overly taxed. Hmm. Interesting. You make sure the crew's mental health is sound? Yes. I look for warning signs. I listen. It's not a full-time job, and it's most effective when done informally. Hmm, well, that's good. We're lucky to have someone with your skills, Kelly. Thank you, Shepard. What else would you like to know? What do you think of Cerberus? Tell me! This organization has a dark reputation. Do you have any concerns working for them? Not at all. Our methods can be harsh, but Cerberus has noble objectives. We look out for human interests. Advance human technology, save human lives. They're good goals. Uh, does Cerberus hate aliens? It sounds like Cerberus wants to dominate all aliens and put humankind on top. Cerberus looks out for humanity, but that doesn't mean we hate aliens. My sister started a dog shelter, but she loved cats too. I love humanity. I don't know humanity. if that really stands I to reason, love but... I Asari, Quarian, Turian, Salarian, Hanar. That isn't in conflict with Cerberus ideals. <laughs> What's your opinion on that? Hmm. Well, she seems nice. Well, maybe a, maybe a little naive, but I'm not going to say that to her face. <laughs> That's a very positive attitude. What can I say? I'm a people person. Anything else you'd like to talk about? Are you happy here? How do you feel about being assigned to the Normandy? I was handpicked by the Elusive Man to help fight the greatest threat known to humanity. How do I feel? Honored, exhilarated, terrified. But mostly I feel encouraged. Under your leadership, we can't fail. Don't worry, we won't! Yay! Go Team Shepard. Go Team Shepard! Don't worry. We'll defeat the Collectors. I trust you implicitly. The moment I met you, I knew I could close my eyes, fall back, and you'd be there. <laughs> I'd drop you. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I can already engage in a... That's Fl flirtatious conversation. Wow. Uh, well, don't worry. I'd catch you. Your trust is well placed, Kelly. I knew it would be. Thank you, Shepard. Anything else you'd like to talk about? Nope, that's it. I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> don't Except ever... that I love time! <laughs> 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 Woo! Look at my room. Fish tank! Yay! You weren't lying. Yeah, you can get some fish for this fish oh, tank. Oh, that's cool. Oh boy, it's a Medal of Honor. All the achievements I already unlocked. Oh, okay. Well, that's cool. Alright. <laughs> Zach, look at all my 30 medals. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Chef surprise again. Come on, Rupert. Uh, so Sam uh, food trays again. Yes, filet mignon and caviar coming right up. Let me just get out my doilies. <laughs> <laughs> Real nice, Mr. Gardner. <laughs> I like you. Commander Shepard, the hero of the Citadel. You did humanity proud that day. Miss Sergeant Rupert Gardner here. How can I be of service? Mmm, you need anything? I don't know, like... Food trays that aren't weird as hell? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> you have everything you need. I make do. But have you ever tried to prepare a decent meal with military provisions? I'm good, but I'm no miracle worker. God, down the collector, you are right. It's going to be rough business. The crew deserves a few fine meals before they throw themselves into the fire. What do you need? If I had some quality ingredients... Oh, shit. You've got more to worry about than grocery shopping on the Citadel. Forget I mentioned it. Now, give me the list, man. If I head that way, I'll keep an eye out. Much appreciated. Most of this list is probably standard fare for those namby pambies on the Citadel. Anything else you'd like to talk about? Gotta talk to the cook. And keep him happy. Yeah, keep the cook happy, and then everybody will be happy. Trust me, after like the third day in a row of eating wheat snack bread with stale peanut butter on it, you're ready to kill somebody for meat. A uh, chocolate peanut butter, or how about the jalapeno cheese spread? Oh God! Oh yeah. After eating MREs for about two weeks, I was like, I would kill someone for actual meat at this point. And then I did, and I still didn't have actual meat. And then I did, and I gotta tell you, humans pretty tasty. <laughs> What are your responsibilities? What do you do here on the Normandy? What don't I do? 
Most think of me as the ship's cook, but I'm also the facility's technician and custodian. HVAC, plumbing, non-mission critical electrical, I make sure they're all clean and running. Those are all really important jobs. I have, a, I have a kindred spirit with this guy. Yes, Miss Sergeant Gardner is certainly a very effective individual. He's, he's very important. Custodial work is very important. So the man cleaning the toilets is also preparing the meals. That sounded way meaner. I wash my hands most of the time. All right, fair this enough. This ain't no luxury liner. You have to pull your own weight in a Cerberus vessel, and I catch what falls through the cracks. <laughs> through the cracks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's uh, you know. I think uh, I think we've uh, I think we have a good rapport. I won't take any more of your time. Back to work. <laughs> and that's the ship's battery. There's um oh yeah okay. There's a, a story about when JFK went to uh, NASA to observe the um like the science program and stuff they had going on there, and he saw a guy that was emptying garbage cans. Oh, it's Dr. Chuck was! She's back! Commander Shepard, I watched the Normandy crumble with you on board. It's good to see you alive. It's good to see you! Nice to see a familiar face, Doctor. I feel the same. I wish more of the original crew could be here. The kind of trauma you endured would have changed most people. But not you, I see. Welcome back, Shepard. Can you romance Dr. Chuck was? Not really. Oh! You can try. You can have a couple of sexy moments with her. Oh, okay. Well, no, I only want someone that I can have a dedicated relationship with. Well, you're, you're giving up on Tally for Dr. Chakwas? No, I'm just bringing, <laughs> I'm just wondering what my options are. Do you have everything you need? I believe so. This medical bay seems very much like the sick bay on the original Normandy. Only thing missing are my private reserves. I even had a bottle of Ceres Ice Brandy that I was saving for a special occasion. <laughs> I'll get you another one. I'll keep an eye out for a replacement bottle. Oh, you needn't. It's expensive, and we have much larger concerns ahead. So you've got Joker and you've got Dr. Chalkwell. It's like the entire team's back here already. Yeah, whole team's back. Well, okay, you're missing a lot of the crew that died on the original Normandy, and also your original crewmates, your companions aren't back yet. Okay, so there's very little in common. We'll work on that. We'll work on that. Hold of cargo. We keep cargo in here. Oh, engineers. You came all the way down here to see us? You're speaking to our commanding officer. Hello. I'm touring the ship, getting to know my crew. <laughs> I'm engineer. I think it would have been funnier if you just literally went, hello. <laughs> this is Gabby. That's engineer Gabriella Daniels, actually. I'm responsible for the propulsion systems. What can we do for you, commander? I don't know. You guys need anything? Are you set up okay down here? We can't complain. I just wish it didn't take so long to calibrate the FBA arrays. Kenneth, you're complaining. Oh, what's the issue? Tell me. Tell me. Commander Shepard wants to be liked by everyone. <laughs> he desires it. He needs to be loved by everyone. What kind of problems are you having? When they upgraded the Normandy design, they got a bit sloppy with the FBA couplings. I won't bore you with the tech, but there is an array of attenuators in the primary power transfer system that channels the field bleed. Kenneth. You're boring the commander with tech. In short, if we had T6 FBA couplings installed, it'd save us a lot of maintenance time each day. Well, why don't we have them? Why isn't something like that already installed? It's probably just a design oversight. Efficiency isn't affected. It's a maintenance issue. Also, the T6 model can be hard to find. Nash and Stellar Dynamics discontinued them. We could probably find used ones in the Omega markets, but we have no time for shore leave. Okay, well, I will keep a lookout for those things. Well, look, cargo's down here. That, that, that makes dead. sense. Cot? Yeah. If someone gets tired and wants to take a break, maybe hide from the commander. I bet that when I eventually get Tali, this is where she stays. Why would she stay down here? It's so gross. Because she's used to living on space stations and spaceships. I suppose that's true. Maybe she'll like it down here. If you can recruit Tali. Which I will! God help me, I will! It is 100% possible for you to complete this game without recruiting Tally. I've done it before. No! Monitoring station! Oh wow, that's a big cargo hold. Holy shit. That's even bigger than the cargo hold I was in. It's actually more like the bay for the vehicles, but whatever. Oh, yeah, I guess you're right. Oh, please tell me there's not a freaking Mako in this game. 
It is called the Hammerhead. No! <laughs> <laughs> We'll go talk to him, I guess. Jacob, you like him. Out of the two companions you have right now, who do you think you like better, Jacob or Miranda? Probably Jacob. Oh, look, there's a grenade launcher. That's the weapon you have, yep. Oh, this is like the armory, technically. Yep. Jacob's kind of hanging out in the armory. It's where he just loves to relax. Well, they should really have, uh, like, lockers for all these things. Well, Jacob's working on all these, making I, sure they're always you know, in top condition. You take a turn too quickly, and these things are all going to just slide right <laughs> off. The whole spaceship is just going to be like, Aah! just like power sliding around corners. You know what? You make a valid point. All these weapons are just kind of stacked on tables. They're just going to fall off. There hasn't been time to really settle in and take stock. Ah, stock! Get it, guns! A stock! <laughs> <laughs> it's a privilege to serve on the Normandy, Commander. It's a risky assignment, buddy. You may change your tune if we end up like the original Normandy. Maybe. As long as the elusive man walks his talk, and you do the same, I'll do my best to make sure we succeed. That's been the condition for my service so far. I have issues with certain actions Cerberus has taken in the past. What has Cerberus done to make you nervous? A lot. They've been called terrorists, and with good reason. Doubt you can find a more checkered past. But if the Collector threat is real, and we do something about it, Cerberus will be remembered differently. Or we'll all be tried and executed. Can't count on people thinking about it as hard as I have. Well, I appreciate your honesty. It's good to hear a clear opinion. Sounds like we're two of a kind. That honors me more than you, Commander. Let me know if you need anything. All right, well, I feel like we've done everything we need to do. We've talked to everybody, except Miranda, but... Except Miranda, well, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can deal with that later. She just, seems, she just seems annoying to me. That's <laughs> literally it. She's, like, way too snotty about everything. All right, now here you go. Look at this beautiful scene right whoa, here. Whoa, whoa! Woo! <laughs> Mr. Moreau, I believe it's time for you to relinquish the controls and let me drive. <laughs> Woo! Woo, woo, woo! All right, anyway. Wow. I didn't realize I had this mod on. It allows you to mine everything with a single mine. That is so... It's going to save so much time. I would assume so. Like, literally, I, I would spend like an hour or two doing this every time I do this game. Oh, uh, that sounds kind of infuriating, I'm going to be honest. It is honestly the worst part of this game, so I, it's not surprising there's a mod that lets you just kind of skip it. Hooray, Omega! Built, Built in the mine out husk of a metallic asteroid, Omega has been a haven for criminals, terrorists, and malcontents for thousands of years. At times, the station has lain idle and abandoned for centuries, only to be reactivated by a new group of outlaws seeking a fresh start. Oh, here we go. Look at this. They have they have this gang hideout right here in a hollowed out asteroid. Isn't that cool? That's kind of neat. I like their I like their neon lights. Yeah, that's a good design choice. You can't go wrong with neon lights like that. It seems like it would take a lot of power. I'm sure they just mine for power. <laughs> 